Hello, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to see the code for this problem D that is swap and delete. Okay, so we need to swap and delete. So we are given a string binary, a binary string that is consists of only zeros and one that you know we can perform two operation that first one is delete one character from S. This will cost one coin and swap any pair of characters in S. Okay, this operation is free. We can do swapping freely. So that will not cost anything. So let's name a string you have got after performing operations above st. The string t is good if for each i equal to 1 to t, ti should not be equal to s of i. That is the mandatory condition. And this is the length of the string t. Okay. And empty string is always good as you know. So note that you are comparing the resulting string with the initial string right that is the mandatory condition so we need to determine the minimum cost total cost to make string t good right this is the thing so let's see some example for understanding so initially in the first case we have zero okay so we have zero what we can make we can't do anything because we can't serve that is only the character. So what we can do, we can delete this. So deleting cost one off. So answer will be one here, right? Okay. So this is the reason we have one answer. So let's see another case for better understanding this. This was very simple. So we have now zero, one, one. Now what we can do? Like we can do swapping with zero and one. So what we can do, we have done 1, 0, 1, okay. So now we need to compare, we need to compare, we will compare first index, that is not, <clears throat> that is not equal, that means it's fine, second, that's not equal, it's fine, third one is equal. So if we delete this, if we delete this, then it will be, S will be 0, 1, 1 and t will be 1 and 0 so we need to compare till here only this is the boundary so we'll compare here and now it is not like any character is not equal so it is string is good so that means we need to spend one point right so that's why the answer is one and in this case in this case what is happening we need to count this <clears throat> okay, so let's, let's see this case. So we need to see 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. If you observe, like if you observe, 0 are 5, 1 are 5. That means we can swap these characters with each other so if we will swap then our cost will be zero we don't need to remove anything that's why so we, what we can make we can make swap this one so it will be one zero right swap this one it will be one zero okay so now what you can do swap this one to this one so we can do zero zero that will be one one and then we can swap 1 and 0. Yeah, clear. So we can we can achieve this thing not equal to thing just by swapping. So hence we need zero cost, right? So this is very simple. Uh, okay, let's see uh, interesting example which helps you to understand what is the solution. So we have 1, 1, 1, 1 and 0, 0. So let's do the swapping first. So it will be 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay. So that is the case. Like we can do swapping here too. That is like it is our choice. So we can compare these things are fine. Right. Now what we have? We have this thing. This thing. Okay. So these are equal. That means we need to perform two operations to delete this because these are equal. So if we delete this, the string will become 0, 0, 1, 1. 
so again that is the problem like what is the problem we need to compare here till here this is the boundary now so one one matching one one matching so we need to again delete so two more operations so here our answer will be four okay hope you understood this so let's talk about the approach to solve this question okay what we need to do just iterate through a loop okay so i equal to 0 to n just iterate and make two vectors that one will be 1 and other will be zeros okay so just if this s of i if this s of i equal to equal to zero okay if that is the case if that is the case you can push in zero vector zero dot pv push back this i character okay similarly else one dot pv i okay that is the simple thing then what you need to do you need to do swapping so you know how to do swapping like first you need to make a t string that will be a copy of s okay then in this you need to do swapping so swapping is the simple thing you need to run this minimum of the size of this thing loop and then take the character and swap it take the index because we have the index we will swap the index okay that is the simple thing how can you achieve this just make sure run i that will be less than that will uh, let's suppose this iterator it okay for simplifying it it should be less than minimum of size of one and zeros okay so you can write this thing one and zero minimum of this thing then what you need to do you need to calculate i index that will be this this is the vector so let's suppose one one of this it okay then you can take j that will be uh, zero of it simple hope you understand this i it is the iterator pointer that's it so no rule and then you need to do swapping you can do swapping in the t so you may have tam tam variable and do the swapping okay so swapping of t of i you can have this thing then you need to do t of j sorry t of i equal to t of j and then t of j is equal to temp right this is the temp so you have the you have swapped the string right you have s and t you have swapped the string now we are into the final step what is that final step you will do that quickly <clears throat> So in the final step you have to run a loop you need to declare answer variable okay answer variable will be zero i will be zero j will be zero so in a while loop while loop while loop will be i i less than n and j less than n okay so these two condition i less than n and j less than n then you need to do if if this s of i equal to equal to t of j if that is the case if that is the case so what we need to do we need to do answer plus plus and j plus plus okay if that is not the case 
if that is not if that is not the case then we need to do both both in the sense i plus plus and j plus plus right you need to do both so that will give your answer right the answer will be your final answer here you need to plus plus if that is the equal equal case Otherwise, only do J plus plus I plus plus and J plus plus. If that is the case, we'll do six only J plus plus. We'll move in the T string, not in the I T string. So that will give your answer. Hope you understand this solution. Like this video, subscribe the channel. Thank you and keep coding.